just um, if I can if I could make a video about German mythology or yeah whatever you want to call German mythology well um, there are some people who say decided that I will make a video about German yeah, moves, fairy tales. I hope the person requested the video will like it. If not, I can make a separate video about Germanic mythology. I hope you like it. So, um, if you, um, yeah, if you are international, like um, you are from USA or any other country, and someone tells you about German fairy tales, German moves, and so on. name that you will probably uh, think of are the Grimm brothers. Yeah. They um, basically uh, traveled around Germany and they collected all kinds of um, yeah, German uh, fairy tales and Grimm, they were um, uh, representatives of the so-called romantic movement or romantic romanticism and they were pagans they were not Christians yeah it was a time period like uh, after the French Revolution where the people started against the aristocracy at that time and from then on um, the romanticist movement movement um, came along and they believed in nationalism and many thought that um, they should Christianity. So if you, uh, for example, uh, think about Germany, um, what if you want to call it German mythology, you will think of the Brothers Grimm, who, like I said, were representatives of the Romantic movement that, um, yeah, you can say started in Germany. Yeah, and of course, um, famous or one famous um, German um, fairy tale would be um, Hansel and Gretel. But can you really say that it is German because? 
stories that can be related to what we call as originally German. I don't know if there is, uh, according to uh, my research, like um, in, in the case of Hansel and Gretel or Hansel und Gretel in German there is um, uh, there are um, similar like um, versions of the story in other countries I believe in Great Britain uh, and yeah I don't know maybe even USA is kind of uh, it developed like if we think of Hansel and Gretel we automatically associate it with a German fairy tale now I don't want to talk about now what um, the fairy tale is about if you are interested I suggest you read the story because I don't want to contain any spoilers here whatsoever so if you haven't read Hansel and Gretel yet and you are curious I suggest you just do it <laughs> yeah you can buy the book or ebook whatsoever Another, um, or at least in my opinion, the most uh, famous German fairy tale, at least in my opinion, would uh, probably be uh, the Nibelungen Lied, or in, in English, uh, the Song of the Nibelungs. Yeah, it is written around 1200 in Middle High German and the poet wrote it yeah, that epic poem was um, supposedly from a puzzle which is in southern Germany in the in this epos in this poem is uh, Siegfried then there is Grimhild her brother Gunther or Günther and then there is uh, Brunhild or Brumhild in German again I don't want to tell you about the story if you it you can read it like I said I don't want to contain any spoilers here so in in my opinion this is the most yeah, German <laughs> if you want to call it a fairy tale and yeah the person of Siegfried many um, say that the person here, uh, Siegfried, he, he was influenced by uh, Arminius, uh, which he was a Germanic uh, folk hero. Yeah, it, he is famous in Germany and in, I think in Scandinavia as well because he was uh, he united all Germanic tribes against the Romans and. He managed to defeat uh, them. Yeah. Battle of uh, the Teutobock Forest or Varus Schlacht in German. Google it and you wanna you will find more about him. At least many say Siegfried was um, 
is kind of influenced by, was influenced by Arminius. And then there is uh, Brunhild. According to my research, many say that she was um, yeah, with a historical background. Here is uh, a Frankish princess who was also called said it's just a hypo hypothesis it doesn't mean that it is true so um, yeah I talked about um, two famous um, German yeah, poems uh, fairy tales moves if you're gonna call it like that there are many, many more, and it also depends from uh, which uh, region in Germany you are from. For example, um, like I mentioned in uh, Nibelungenlied, it was from uh, southern Germany, Bavaria, and then there is. Uh, Hansel and Gretel and yeah I don't really know from which region in Germany it's from but according to my research it's from Hessen at least that's from what are Grand Summit. Yeah, and then there is, yeah, Snow White. Here again, many will probably disagree with me because they will say, oh, yeah, in, in Great Britain we have uh, also Snow White or a similar story to uh, Snow White. Like I said already, if we uh, hear about Hansel and Gretel, we automatically associate it with Germany. And here we can probably say the same. Yeah, in uh, yeah, here uh, for example, um, the story of Snow White. There are versions of it in. Uh, Italy and uh, France, uh, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, Iberian Peninsula, Great Britain, Scandinavia, Russia, America, whatsoever, many, many more. So, uh, some of you uh, will po probably uh, say that Snow White is not exclusively uh, German. Hansel and Gretel on the uh, Nibelungenlied and then uh, we had um, Snow White. Yeah, and like I said, it also depends um, from which region in Germany you are. Like uh, I mentioned that Nibelungenlied was from Bavaria, then uh, there is uh, Hansel and Gretel, it's from um, Hessen, yeah, and then there is um, the town musicians of Bremen, it's also a German fairy tale, and here we can say that um, Bremen, Bremen is a city. Germany, here we can say, yeah, this is a German fairy tale. Maybe there are here also, um, I don't know, in other countries that there are um, similar stories to uh, 
to that, yeah, like town musicians of, I don't know, London or Liverpool or whatsoever. Maybe you uh, have similar fairy tales about that in your country. Let me know it in the comments below. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. So uh, I mentioned now uh, some uh, German moves, fairy tales, and so on. And I spoke now about fairy tales, but now let's. Uh, focus on German or Germanic mythology. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, in uh, German, uh, Germanic mythology, shapeshift could take up animalistic forms and he was kind of like um, yeah a betrayer like not loyal then there is uh, Thor um, one of yeah probably the most Oh. 
of Freyr. She was associated with uh, love, fertility, beauty, and so on. Yeah, your sister Freyr, she uh, was the god, uh, goddess of fertility and symbol of prosperity and pleasant weather conditions. is hell. She uh, was the queen of the uh, North Underworld. She had a uh, very pale skin. Yeah, then there is uh, Vali. Vali was the son of Odin and he yeah, he was the son of See you next time. God bless and 